Welcome to Greece! We'll be taking you around Greece and the Greek islands throughout our upcoming videos. Our first video starts in the capital of Greece, the city of Athens. We only had one day in Athens, so we had to make the most of our time here. Justin and I woke up bright and early to take a tour of the Acropolis. Our small group tour was run by the tour operator Walks, and our tour guide knew everything there was to know about the Acropolis and the Parthenon. Wandering around this historic Greek monumental complex perched high on the hill is one of the best things to do in Athens, especially if you're visiting for the first time like us. I recommend taking a guided tour as early as possible, which was 8am in our case. It gets incredibly crowded here as everyone wants to see the Acropolis and it only gets busier and hotter as the day goes on. Our tour guide had our skip the line combination tickets in hand, which actually provides you with access to several other ancient archaeological sites around Athens that you can visit once your tour is over. The term Acropolis means high city. Sitting atop a limestone hill that's been occupied since prehistoric times, the Acropolis has enjoyed many uses across the centuries. It was a home to kings, a mythical home to the gods, a citadel, a religious center, and finally a tourist attraction. Our tour started with a slight uphill walk as we ventured to the top of the hill, stopping to admire several structures, theaters, and statues on the way. At last you'll reach the Propylaea, which is the main entrance to the Acropolis. This is an impressive monumental entryway with a central building flanked by two wings. You'll enter the site as the ancient Greeks once did. Viewing the Parthenon is the main highlight of the tour. It's a massive temple in the middle of the Acropolis. While you're not allowed to enter the Parthenon, you can walk around the outside of it. There's another temple by the Parthenon called the Erechtheion, a marble temple in honor of Athena and several other gods. It's currently undergoing renovations as it's been severely damaged over the years due to war, damage, and decay. When you're exploring the Acropolis, you can't help but admire the stunning panoramic views of Athens from high up on the hill. Catch many glimpses of beautiful scenery all around you. Aside from seeing the temples, we loved all the views. After visiting the Acropolis, we walked to the ancient Greek Agora. This was once the commercial center of the old city of Athens. It was once truly the heart of Athens and the main site of social and political activity. All citizens of ancient Athens crossed paths here, including all of the great philosophers. Wander around the huge plazas filled with monuments, pathways, and ruins that go back 2,500 years. You'll climb another smaller hill to the Temple of Hephaestus, one of the best preserved ancient temples in the world. As this was a half day tour, how do we spend the rest of our day in Athens? We walked down Plaka, one of the oldest streets in the world, stopping by cozy cafes and restaurants on the way. We wandered and explored, spending some time in Anaphiotica, one of Athens' most scenic neighborhoods. Located on a hillside at the base of the Acropolis, this is a traditional Greek village in the heart of Athens. Whitewashed houses with colorful doors and flowers growing everywhere, I think you'll agree that this is one of the prettiest areas of the city. You could easily spend half a day walking around Athens, stumbling upon ancient ruins and enjoying quiet and bustling neighborhoods alike. Stay tuned as we'll be sharing more of our travels around Greece and hit that subscribe button to stay in touch.